And we are live. What's up, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Tell Me Why. This is the third part of the first episode. Ay, ay, ay. Um, last episode, we started seeing visions. Also, the story is getting, like, the, the past that they think is going on is getting kind of murky. Um, I think there's more to the story um, to the point where, I don't know. It's just, it's, mm. Let's get into it and find out. I am. Do it. Ooh. Some dangerous ass scissors. Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> No. Is it all gone? No. <laughs> Yo, Spike Kid. It, it looks amazing. Yo, Sonic. <laughs> really? Dada hair yeah. blue and she. That is Sonic. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight, though. It was almost like a party. <gasps> Thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like... like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> like a really bad haircut. Mom? But the new haircut Mom? looks so much better. I hope this isn't in. Gonna you know, lighten the flash. She's gonna be right there. she was gonna kill him I think she was about to commit suicide please tell me that's not the route we're going that he that they think that they walked in on her like loading the gun to kill them oh no no glad we found your diary me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project. I was her child. About the book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she wasn't trying. She never... <sighs> it doesn't make sense, I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that... You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? 
You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But we need to go by the store anyway, to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this, but you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. So, I was thinking... Hmm? Do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? We've been over this, and we both agreed it's time for a clean break. I know. Trust me. I'm not talking about staying for long. Just long enough to get some answers. And you think this house has those answers? Maybe not. But it's a place to start. Well, it would be a shame if there was something to find and we tossed it out. How about we start digging without putting off the sale? And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. Look, I've already explained why this is so important to me. Why are you still dragging your feet? It's just with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just, you graduated three years ago, and this is the first time we've seen each other in person. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. Look, I didn't want to see anyone. I just started testosterone. And, oh god, I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place and the smells. Allison, the smells... Men smell bad. I know. I've dated a few. Look, I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. All right. Deal. There's so many things going on right now. Because again, you're dealing with the I'll brothers and sisters relationship. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Oh, no. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Mom and Allison are, are not here, everyone though. At least I'm not the only what do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. I'm trying to read. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. I'm gonna wait on you. Okay. Mom and Allison argued again. At least I'm not the only one Mom is screaming at now. Mom always seemed jealous we didn't tell her what we were planning to do in the forest. Allie thinks we should tell her about our voice. I think she already knows. Mom seemed really upset when I asked to join the hockey team like it's wrong for me to play a boy's sport. 
I'm going to keep asking. I will try again next week. She said no again. I'm so mad at her. Why does she always say no? Why doesn't she ever let me do what I want to do? Allison and I, Allison and I started writing a story. Well, Allison did. She didn't like it when I tried to change anything. Why can't one of the goblins be a boy goblin? Saw Star Wars yesterday at Bobby's place. Luke was so great. But Mom found out we watched it and got so mad. She said it glorified war. What? Would Mom be happier if I could do what she wanted me to? When she looks at me, she just doesn't see me. I wish I could show her. I wish I could make her understand. I think she doesn't want to. Allison told me again that it was my fault fault mom got angry at us she is such a suck up mom's barely said anything to us in a few days like I said she saw her throwing away pages from the book of goblins do this do that I am sick of her voice and I'm sick of that dumb name too I'm Ollie the goblin Wait, is that it? Wait, hold up. Is that the only page? I think that is. Yeah. Yo, that's what I'm saying is like... I don't... I think we should head out right away. Already tired of the view? Just finding it hard to relax and enjoy it with so much on my mind. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Uh huh. My sister, the social butterfly. There's something going on with her. Seems we got a trespasser. <laughs> what the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. Don't know any Tylers. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Well, your brother? Uh -oh. oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> you look like a real man. <sighs> so do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. Uh, I'm making it awkward. <sighs> Not a woman who looks like a man, Sam. A man. A real man, just like you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Guess I'm the asshole again. <laughs> he, at we least got he no excuse us, old guys. I really I mean... don't. Well, come on. You kids keep changing the rules. You can't expect us to keep up. Just respect the people are who they say they are. It's not hard. No, it ain't hard, but it just... Takes some getting used yeah. to. We'll get used to it, cause we aren't going anywhere. He's not trying to be so, a dick about it. What are you doing here exactly? He's not being mean oh, to well, him yeah. or anything. I've it's been just... kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know. So at least Patching in the roof, here, he wants checking the pipes, and all that stuff. Okay. Thank you, Sam. Oh yeah, yeah, it's uh, that's no big deal. Oh okay, it's, I thought that was outside. You know, your mama, she is? was. Uh, the special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mama never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. Yeah, uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. 
Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. See, I don't want to be a dick, okay? Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? Okay, never mind. Either way, it was a dick move. Like... What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course. Yo, calm it down. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. Sure. But maybe some good ones, too? Hammered. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? He's not wasted. What are you talking about? I guess I could ask him a few more questions. Okay. Were you too close? How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well... I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. Not me. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. You two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solve it? Yep. Better late than never, I guess. Mm, never solved it myself. I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh, uh, uh so, uh... Guess you know all your mama's <laughs> secrets now, huh? Well, she may have one or two left. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? What do you mean? He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. This is, it's the only two choices well, you give me. We've got a supply run to make, and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so. All right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam, we all gotta get going. Oh, uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I, lots of to do's on old Sam's list. Okay, maybe he's drunk. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah, of course, of course, yeah, they're, they're yours, I, uh, uh, this place, it meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like it was a part of her, and it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries okay, to kill us in on, our sleep, man. huh? Uh, yeah, well, uh, Take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Hey, so we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you.
Okay, one minute he wants to find stuff out, and then all of a sudden, oh, now she's a murderous psycho. Like, come on, man. Just be respectful. Listen to you hear more about it. Oh, there's gonna be some feet. I can ah uh, because again, even reading the stuff about like him going through all the the uh, it's, it's hitting me. It's hitting me in the it's hitting me right. Man. Because I do, again, I, I still feel, I don't know. Because if it was just self-defense, I don't understand why he would actually go to Juvie. And then the trouble's huge and all that other stuff. Like, I don't understand that. Unless it is like a hick town, so like I don't know. There's ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? What? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Oh, no, I'm girl. Uh, uh, oh, no, what? Hey, you. Hey. No, I'm Allison. Isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. I was there for your introduction to marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry. She told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm What's all for efficiency. Doing? Cannot wait for what us to get out of here. What's that? Um, Michael is moving to Juno too. We were thinking of being roommates. Oh, okay. Thinking about it? You better not be backing out on me. The only thing that gets me up some mornings is marking one more day off the calendar. <laughs> Don't worry, she won't. We'll get the house sold, and you guys can move on. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> Are you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole. I go to at least twice a week. Buzzard it's hole? like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially well, first you. thing in the morning. Shut up! I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Uh -oh. Cool. Most guys I know get all smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. Not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. Ooh, hold up. I'm feeling woozy. I want to have the crispy tocino and noodles and spring rolls. What? And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Aww. It's Man, so I miss like... Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm. No, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. 
Like, I think she had, like, money issues. And I think that... Then it mixed that with depression and... Ay, ay. Should we go inside? Shut or up. Stand around until we Trying to figure it out. Oh, answers. it's automatic. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> Smart Did ass. you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house. But, surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels... complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. He seems nice. Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. No way. The Trout King is still here. Inventory, huh? Uh, yeah. My mind is so numb right now. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? Yeah. I'd be done already, but I'm letting Tyler browse and take it all in. Must be weird for him to be back here. Yeah, I don't know. But today's been crazy. Define crazy. I don't want to tell him too much. It was just kind of unsettling to go back to the old house after all this time. How are you feeling? Still unsettled, but it'll pass. All right. Well, I'll be here if you need me. Thanks. Nice guy. I like him. I like him. The hell? Hey, Tyler. Remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a trout derby. It was a 12-pounder! <laughs> I, li I like the, the character development. It's really... Hey, Tyler. Really candy cool. or chips? You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. That pumpkin Sugar huge. rush it is. It says candy on it. What the f- what is that? That really is one enormous pumpkin. What the hell? What are you gonna do with something that f***ing big, man? What is this, cereal? So cool. Hey, where's your cleaner? Hey. Yeah, oh, here he is. Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. All surface. I'll take the strong one. And I will fly away from here. Did did you write that? You're sweet, but uh no. It's from this cheesy movie <laughs> called so... this album. Oh. Didn't see well, it. Okay then. Nah, you can probably see like, it. I don't know what the hell. You're in the mood to drool over Idris Elba for two exquisite hours. Uh, I'm more of a Ezra Miller kind of guy. Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you... mm. Plain candles are fine. Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? Is that some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes? Ooh, busted. <laughs> oh, oh, again, I love this stuff because it's, it's unnecessary. But it's it's good character de development, and I like that. Yo, Tyler, 
Yo. Hey, don't. What do we still need to get? Something to drink. Drink, drink. Got you. Got you. Got you, dude. I got you, bro. What you want? Name it. I got you. Where's the, the drinks? Oh. Duh. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any of it sounded good. Orange juice. Uh... You think you could take a picture of this? OJ sound good to you? Yep. Uh, I'm not really big on orange juice, but. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Okay. Kind of know how a store works, but okay. Ooh, it's the ATM. What's up, Tommy Tom? Will that be all? Yes. You just walk up. Thank you, Tom. Oh, what hi, up? Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Mary Ann better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have sorry, a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. Oh, shut up. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was oh, that? Mom, uh, even if I told you she wouldn't talk. A mom like trying to kill the kid. Training. Come on, get out of here with that. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, Hold up. I feel it. I'm feeling my spiders, my twin senses. Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? What? Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, what? let's see if we can call up my version, okay? What does that mean? Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Yeah. Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne Where's defended she? us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be?
Is there something I can do for you? Where do you go to? So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? <laughs> yes, what a lucky coincidence. No, never mind. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. We need to agree on one version if we're going to talk I want to talk to you that. now. I really or do I need to start to calling in your debts? The Lord disciplines those he loves. You're failing these kids, Marianne. Judge me all you want, but don't spew that hate around my children. Spew hate? I am trying to be your friend. They need a firm, <laughs> guiding hand, and you... Oh my God. You actually think you're being a friend right now? Talking about my children that way? Yes, you might find this hard to believe, but friends aren't just for loans, Marianne. You really want to get into this? Fine. Let's go to your office. I'll be right back, kids. You stay inside, okay? What is wrong with you? What the heck? I wish you would have trusted me on this. I really don't think Tessa was being that harsh. You don't know her. And regardless of who started things, once they were in the office, they both went at it. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear over the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Yeah, I think there's... I just don't, I don't think Marianne was, I think he wants to believe, I, I think he wants. Is there something I can do for you? Mad. Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself, but you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, Bullshit. I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> uh, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. All right, guys. Before we continue, this episode's going a little too long. Uh, we're going to end it here, and then we're going to be getting it right into it uh, right when we start the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, all the other good stuff. Make sure to tune in every single day, 12 p.m., 6 p.m. Central. Also, don't forget about Cut Right Central, where we release um, more videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 p.m., and I will see you beautiful people in the next one. See ya!